you at your worst and then see something ridiculous. Doesn't even make no sense. I want you to know that chapter 7 of 2 Kings is an irrational dialogue. It does not make any sense. Missionary Coley, the opening dialogue of chapter 7 does not match the day. It doesn't add up what he says when he jumps off. We got it on the board. I need to get it to me, please. Chapter 7, verse number 1. Here's what the word of the Lord says. And I want you to pay attention to this because this is absolutely insane. He says here at the beginning of the text, at the opening line, he says, Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Let your name and say, listen up, listen up. He says, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow, God, about this time shall a measure of, I wish I had three people, fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel. In other words, I'm getting ready to change the economy. Good God from God. The thing that you know that used to cost one thing, tomorrow about this time, I'm going to give you the value of what you used to get for less money than you used to pay. I don't need everybody, but 75 people in here need to holler, my economy is getting ready to shift. Now, if you next to a hater or a player, I need you to understand they may not want you to be blessed. But I need you to nudge somebody and tell them my money is changing. My money, my money is changing. God is getting ready to do something in the economy of my life. You will know when God is getting ready to move because he touches what's important to you. Hey, God, I wish I had somebody. Where a man's treasure is, his heart is there. And I don't care how much you shout, if you got money trouble, you are going to have a challenge with your brains. You might work through it. But, but how many of y'all know you holler better with money? Amen. Y'all going to look real spiritual. You dance a whole lot better with money. You love people easier with money. When it's rough, you might love them, but you got to work through something to, to love them. But when money is right, I can tell it because you grinning, you come in the door smiling, you in every praise song. It don't matter if you sing it off key. You jump up in every praise song when money is together and God knows the, the measure of our struggle. So he announces by his shifting, he announces first, I'm getting ready to touch your economy so that the economy will be a sign that I'm getting ready to do something great. And the Lord says this even prophetically, and I need you to grab this prophetically with a consciousness. He does not just speak it, but he gives it a denotative time frame. He says, tomorrow about this time. Come here, come here, come here. In other words, he says, I'm getting ready to perform a 24-hour miracle that's going to turn your life around. Now, what if you sit next to somebody right now uh, that only got 24 hours left uh, in their struggle? Something going to shift in 24 hours. Uh, if you believe that could be, might be, should be you, why don't you just holler at somebody and say, tomorrow about this time. I'll let me tomorrow something's going to happen. Now, some of y'all are just coming around and you don't understand, but I happen to know that tomorrow is the 21st day of what God promised us. So while y'all want to do that through Alice in Wonderland praise, I'm going to give them a real praise. Because tomorrow about this time, I'm going to see God's hand do a miracle. I need about seven crazy folks 